Humpty Gaming former member, Seth Scumpy After, leaves for Envious. This left the community on loan. <laughs> With Goon Jar! Goon Jar, Mark! He said he liked the color blue. Uh, I think the biggest takeaways from Anaheim and any tournament in general is I try and get some bullet points, the biggest main issues that we need to talk about. So obviously, you look at the stats, I think they tell a decent story of what happens with the team most of the time. Sometimes it comes down to clutch scenarios, things like that. But obviously, S&D was a problem for us. Uh, there's a huge problem with this team and it makes no sense to me and it's something we've been trying to hash out but we're very good at putting ourselves in very good situations to win maps and then we let things sort of unravel and then we get frantic or just uh, we force things that don't need to happen in, in plays and it gets away from us and it happens primarily in search at least at Anaheim so going on from that uh, obviously tighten up our CTF our hard point record was fantastic so you know just keep reinforcing the positive things there and really locking down uh, how to play post plants in Search and Destroy and revamping some more strategies because obviously teams watch VODs. Uh, I, I think running sort of like options of styles of plays for offenses. We have our go-to offensive rounds for, for either bomb sites, whether it's middle, left, right, whatever it may be on the maps. And then we have to be able to adapt off of those original strats much better. I think we're doing okay at that, but there's times where we just you know stick to our guns were easy reads and we play way too straightforward sometimes. I'm gonna go grab one. They have a bunch of them over there. I got Trying to give me a cloth on my chair. You know who I am? Got, got my proper chair. Let's see how we feel. That's, and that's a chair. Oh. oh, you're doing some vision shooting? Oh, for vision. Oh. It's vision oh. time. Twitch oh, chat's all. Cap is in the chat. Cap. Uh, anyone need anything? Cap. Uh, a girlfriend. Oh. Uh, what I can't provide you one of those. Then. Definitely don't know those. Yeah. You gotta get a chance trophy for that one. Good luck with that. <laughs> what does that mean? Girlfriend trophy. <laughs> good luck with that. You better fucking hope we get giving you good luck with that. <laughs> Salmon's in. Coordinate who's water at all times. You hear me, Zin? What? Coordinate water on docks yep. with Sam. Yep. Sam's a beast, though, so probably just hold the whole map. Are you going to stop dick riding anytime soon, or what? No. Wait, did you see how I was playing this It's actually my job. <laughs> From start to finish, these guys have been at the top, and don't get me wrong, they're still at the top, they're still in the Pro League, but for Optic, nothing but first is good enough. Gate, 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 gate. I'm still watching. I'm watching gate. I'm watching our pinch. Streaming lights. Get I'm leaving gate. Yeah. Watch out, Six! I got a guy, I got a guy. Good shit, Seth. I'm going to beer. Rotate, guys. Bait for Seth, bait for Seth. I'm pushing through, I'm pushing through Cole. Make sure you bait for Seth, guys. Pushing through Cole, Seth. I'm going to just five points away. Uh, it's just a matter of uh, doing our due diligence and there you go, nice. able to close that one out as expected for the hard points at the gaming game, uh, a very solid map number one. Yeah, he's in fire cut. Oh my god. Let's go, boys. Buzz is going to hop on bomb, he's already weak, Method's able to get out, he goes for the challenge on the second gunfight. Responds to it well and you can see that player just going to hop right back on the bomb, but Method's if he peeks and gets the timing right, which he doesn't. Now he's tagged up. Players are going for the kill, but he finds the oh second. My. Not only a 1v3, but if he gets the third, he gets the defuse. He's going to tag him, and this is where surely he's going to go in for the challenge and looking over the Let's ball. Oh, my God, dude. Good, good shit, bro. Good shit, dude. My goodness. That's what I'm talking about, bro. Yeah, my bad. That guy 1v3? Holy hell, boy. That guy was literally in the smoke. Oh, let's fucking go, baby. I got to glide. Yep. Let's go, baby. They're all going black barrel. They're flooding. They're flooding. Yep. Player life. I'm coming. I'm coming. Let's go. Get in. Once the last guy main door. Nice. 
I'm gonna just call rotation sprint. It was like stutter continue. Oh, it was bad. Well, he was sitting Dorito, and I'm forever. Bro, I was on. I was at Bell calling like push in front of me. Go, go, yeah, go, go. go. Yeah, you got that three piece. I was looking for your chase because we had no clue where he was. Either way, no, both, we both of you guys while. played it slow. We can watch the body. It's totally his fault. No, no, that's what I'm gonna say. It's totally his fault. He was. He was yeah, you 100 percent should have dove, bro. Dove? Yeah, you were. You were super late. Dove? You sat Dorito for oh, no, way too long. Well. You should have oh, just. Yeah, got no, I should have been. Should have been quicker. But you guys were fucking, but you guys were just, uh, I got so many different things. He could be behind me, Bell. He could be already be in our Doesn't base, matter. and I was you like, I'm got, here. Like, bro, you gotta go. So he's more I agree. Truth. I remember him, so. Good man. I felt like I was standing on flag looking at Bell. Like, I don't think I was, I was far as fuck. 1-0. Nah. Summer Summer Series will kick off an eight-week series of competitions where we'll be awarding $8 million in prize money. The event starts this weekend with a $250 million duo's competition. $8 million for Fortnite. I'm sitting here shooting bots for $100,000. That's still a lot of money. Fortnite's been out for six months. What the fuck? 250000 duo competition this weekend. Wait, with how Fortnite is now, we'd all yeah, have to get shit on. Are you oh, fucking right. kidding me? Oh, wait, wait, we would all get shit They're having an online $250,000 tournament in our champs. We don't even get that. Dude, it must be, oh, must be fucking I'm nice. fucking angry. One more week, closet. We yeah, closet. Yeah, closet. Yeah, closet. Yeah, closet. Yeah, closet. They're now batting for the Yankees. Number two, Derek Jeter. <laughs> Number two. My folding chair up there? Oh, fuck yeah. No cloth, right? Oh, you guys know me like uh, like clockwork. team of Opti Gaming trying to surge up the left side, but what do they even do? They got to deal with Swifty in the back, and yes, they take him down, but it's still going to be another 10 seconds before they can get inside the hill. It looks like the pressure is going to be there, but they get what? These final 20 seconds? Tainan Mines, 11 cool points away they get for Tainan Mines next, to win the game. Though. 12 for Opti, but now charge. he's got to burn the artillery. Kills. They're racking the up this time. You got to hope it takes them yeah, so down, but players are in the window. You can manage to do both. They're trying to stay alive. Neither team can get inside the hill. It comes down to this next wave of gunfights. Who's going to win the game. Tainamai is trying to get inside the hill, a little over aggressive. He's get picked off, Opti but now it goes back and forth. Nibbles inside. Opti can't win here. Just one more second. They do it. Tainamai make the comeback happen. They survived the artillery. I should be another flag for Optic unless you have some heroics from Nimble and Damage. And Nimble's don't. gonna get taken down. It's gonna be up to Damage. He's got to deal with three. And frankly, you can go ahead and put the other artillery down and do the exact same play. Because Octane, well, he was gonna set up for the relay. He does get oh, dropped. Surges relay. Forward. They we get got a the relay. return. We might have a relay. They got it. It's Damage. He's he able to get across. And Tana Mines, they tie this game up down five to six five. Six seconds left. You gotta touch the flag. Swift Azores. It looks like he's going for it. Opti Gaming in the back. Three They're in. gonna get wiped. Swift Azores has a flag. A player just to his right. Damage is gonna be there. He's the damage. Return. He's got a pre-fire. He's got to do something. He got to stop Prim. And he's gonna get it. He's gonna get the kill. He's gonna get the flag. Can he get on? out of dodge? Optic Gaming. They're surging through mid map, but the support is there from Tain and Mines. They can get this win. Someone's on the OE. The flag carrier. He's still gone. He's in fire. He's getting out of the back. It's gonna be Methis. He's gonna get shut down. The flag. They return. won. It's picked up, and they got no! it. Out. Oh, out. Oh, my God. First guy. Oh, yeah. He's winning six five. Tain and Mines. They are disgusting. Nibble lines him on up, finds the first. Can he find the second? No, but he's done enough. He's staying alive. Swifty finds that. Here we go. Tana Mines, this is their opportunity to get that first match win under their belt. And damage is on the late flank. I love this play, but there's pressure by Methods through the middle of the map. Where is damage? He's got a point on out. He's able to find it now a one versus two. And there we go. Tana Mines. They get their first match win over off the I had the left side was like from the stalemate like yeah they got that cap but they also fucking spawned us water so that was another free cap for him his artillery i should have chased the guy instead of shooting i thought i'd easy kill him what's going on read these respawns though bros that yeah. snd wasn't that bad like they made no that cap search wasn't bad the ctf was the worst jib was the chip was jib fucking was horrible, horrible too or are you taking our foot off the gas well, again no, no what happened with jib what is, is this, like no what happened with jib on, is man. no one backed up like so oh, dude. 
So like we have the cave fucking scrap, we went middle. They were all spawning bricks, but we had no one blocking the back. So I turned to go pick up dirt. I got shot from the guy top white. Then they, they flipped us out and they held second. No, we got, we got so second screwed. Scrap, we got we fucked up on the first hill. When they, and they, when they were coming back, everyone was going split. No one was waiting. Right as I get into court to go top red, he was like running up the stairs, but he like was, was looking at me and he had me one shot. If I just would have like actually went with my read, I read him perfectly. I just didn't like trust it. I was like, he's probably gonna try and rap or do something weird, and he fucking Dude, did. Dude, I. When so I said. We were undefeated on Gibraltar hardpoint before this, and uh, we went up about 100 points, I would say, and we started coasting, put on cruise control, and then the car crashed into the ditch on the side of the highway, and we broke our legs and <laughs> terribly wrong. So I ended up losing after being up 100 points first map. Uh, we shook it off, which is something we normally don't do. We usually lose full and kind of complain a little bit after we lost. So that was good. We dropped that. Played our London Docs SSD flawless. Absolutely destroyed them on that. That felt really good. And then uh, the CTF Docs again, up 5-1. We have four score streaks on, oh, we have four streaks. With a minute and a half left, four flags up, and we lose. Mind blown. And then uh, the thing that made me the most angry about this whole series was we lost that. Pissed. Down 2-1. We come out, the next map's two and a half minutes long. We got, they got 49 points. I'm, I was pissed. I'm like, dude, why are we losing this series right now? And then we go game five, lose 5-5, five, five, same arena. I'm just like... <sighs> I was getting flashbacks to like Unilad at Anaheim, man. It's just like... This is literally the same situation. Yeah, exactly. Put tunes on the mix He's kidding. He's definitely listening to like fucking Rihanna or like J Lo right now. What are you listening to? What? What are you listening to? Uh, some sort of dubstep. I don't know what's called. Oh, oh shit! So I oh. shuffle it all the day. Oh damn, dude! Oh, no, dubstep, please, dubstep is vibes. Me with oh, I love it. We got no way to go. If I listen to Drake though, I might finesse more. So it's kind of hard. Up in a rodeo. You might finesse more. Oh, it's hard no, to figure out which one you want. Get your me roots set. You either get vibes or finesse. You don't get any in between. <laughs> I believe I saw on Twitter if Optic lose this, they go from second to fifth. So this is a, a pretty substantial. What? Yeah, they would go to six and four. They would tie with Complexity, and Complexity would have it over. Them. Well, One gunfight immediately hits the hill and finds the second. And as you said, this might be it for Optic. Just eight more seconds. They need Crims out front. The one thing they have to be aware of is the spawns in the back. But that kill feed all green. All green. And Optic take game one with a convincing, convincing victory. But no, still, keep your eyes on this series. You know, they had two fish trying to back on down, but Dashy has so much confidence to take that. Now Scump's in a in a tough spot as well. They just keep getting tucked in these corners where they get picked apart. Scump last man up, 1v3, complexity goes Six once big. again. Gets that pick, he gets both. Krim may have ended the game. It's all gonna fall to Sensor and Ricky now to get it done. Sensor tagged up, dropped. Ricky in his third 1v4. He should be dead in a matter of seconds. And there it is, Optic clutch up in the game five. They go one and one on the day. Shit, Port. Let's go, boy. Nice win. We got a black one. Let's go. Where does he go, bro? I choked that one round so hard. Yeah. I would have been so mad if we lost. He kept being cold off. I don't want to say we're using the league as like practice because that's kind of bad to say about the other teams, but we're definitely trying to approach our map pool with a different mindset. So I think just polishing up the rough spots in terms of our S and D and CTF. Hardpoint is, oh, it's there. But other other than that, we're good. Usually, the tournament before champs is the indicator of who wins champs. How you perform in playoffs or you know whatever tournament it may be before champs usually determines like your your best teams at champs. So if we play well at playoffs. The COD gods literally have to put us in finals of champs. That's just how it goes. If we if we just get get some things down, we're so close to just destroying teams. And we just we get the lead, we do all the hard stuff. The hard we're so good at hard stuff in COD. That's probably so weird to hear. It's like all like the first bloods in S and D, you know, getting the leads in CTF, that's the hard stuff. And then the easy stuff is just closing the map out. And we suck at that. So if we learned how to do the easy stuff in COD, guys, let me tell you what. We're gonna win a lot of money for the green wall in the next like five weeks. Let me tell you something. But until we learn how to do that, playoffs are gonna be good if we win them. But right now, main priority is just like polishing out our bad maps, going through the motions to learn how to not be idiots. And then we win a million dollars. Cut. Thank you.
this home to play against Echo Fox in the first map of their pool. Our first match of their pool. And uh, they're not doing too hot. They're not doing too hot. They're like playing really scared. It's weird. Like in scrims, they would play super aggressive and like constantly pushing advantages. And here it's like they're playing not to lose. Uh, I don't know. That looks good. Powers, though, of course, so in group stage, powers. our first match was against uh, the Shrub GG. I think I believe they were the third, third or fourth best team uh, out of uh, Latin America. Uh, we actually we came out firing on all cylinders against them. We pretty much just fourteen would them in quick fashion. Like and I'm talking like I I actually don't think like that match was even thirty minutes long. So uh, there's that. And then our second match was against the Ghosted Crew. Um, that match was a little closer. Uh, that was kind of like the first like chink in our armor in that event, I guess. Because uh, second map was Forge Blitz, which was the only two maps we lost. Against them, we actually won a 7-5, which is still a little closer than we like wanted it to be. So uh, that's 2-0. and And then our last match was against Nimbus Esports. And uh, those kids were kind of like the amateur like online warriors. So like we didn't kind of really take them serious, and they actually had us in a five-one deficit in the first map. But luckily for us, we kind of woke up. It was our first match of the day, and uh, we ended up bringing that map back uh, seven-six. And the second map was just a breeze for us. I mean, so. We didn't expect to play Echo Fox, you know, that's first of all. We thought they had first in their pool, even though they had a loss. Uh, we still thought they were going to, you know, clinch number one in their pool. And when we found out they didn't, we were just all so pumped. We were so ready. It was just one of those unexpected matches that like, we just wanted so bad. Play, he cannot. This should be uh, a second round in on the book. So let Kenny can go big. He cannot touch that <laughs> hill. And they're following in one by one by one. That's all they can do. You know? I see, I see, try to be sneaky. He's like, yo, as soon as he turns that corner, I'm gonna pick up a kill. Explosive, we got the first, oh, then he clicked the second, then he got the third, and now all of a sudden he's just beating down as he summons. I, I, to be honest, that's a perfect metaphor for the series. Yeah. This is, this is, this is, this is, it's just up to Damon. Get out of here! Who's his back, baby? Newest member of Optic Game in the winning squad here. Now you had a big, big belly laugh right before that last round. Tell me what was that about? To be honest, it was it was literally like a private. Like that team is pretty bad without me, so like it was kind of you know it was like a private, like literally a private warm up. Like these kids are terrible, garbage team, garbage team. All right, now listen. By the way, one more time. Garbage team. Yeah, I'll be honest, 14, a lot of that was definitely bad. Fourteen dancing. rounds it took mean, to win that. I'm seriously gonna walk up there and say garbage 30 times, right? Like I think I said that word about 30 times. Like, but uh, a lot of it was banter, but there was some truth to it. I definitely didn't want to make them feel bad. Uh, obviously, you know I have a lot of history with those guys, and our breakup didn't go the best. Uh, you know, a lot of drama, a lot of unfollowing on Twitter. So, so you know, like a lot of petty stuff. But I definitely felt that they deserved that, and uh, I think I got a lot of fame because of that I got like I literally got like a thousand followers that weekend because of that and rumor has it that I like made the gears viewership like sort of blow up that weekend so I mean shout out to me <laughs> <laughs> After we beat Echo Fox, we we kind of we kind of thought we would have like an easy match, just because before Champ Bracket even started, we we were like we were like who's on our side of the bracket? Because we we had thought Echo Fox won their bracket or won their pool, and we had thought uh, Ghosts would be in losers because I I believe they were in two and two in pool play, or maybe even one and three, it, it, like some crazy bad record. But uh, Ghosts had actually slipped into the winners bracket by one round, so. We ended up playing the winner of uh, uh, the Rise match versus the Go It was the Rise versus Ghost match, and uh, Ghost ended up winning that match. So right after we played Echo Fox unexpectedly in round one, uh, we had the defending champions in Ghost Gaming. Uh, right after, all all in one Saturday. He's gonna get traded out. He's gonna get dumped to ground. He's gonna get on his knee. No, I'm 
Brody! Down, 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 down! Wait, wait, wait! Wait, wait, wait! Wait, wait, wait! Wait, wait, wait! Wait, wait, Ah, their lives are terrible, bro. Their lives are terrible right Good now. Shit. Miserable. Good shit. Hey, Billy. You know, I knew Billy was going to win that because he does that shit to me all the time in warm-ups. I got one bullet left and chunk. Fuck that, man. I graduated too. I got promoted. I graduated. Hot. Do you remember being in that power? I remember being in that those huddles, but this shit meant nothing. That shit did not <laughs> manifest in like gameplay. Shit on the But at that point, you got a player that gets behind enemy lines to decap the home hill of Echo Fox. This round oh, should all be optic gaming. Yes, it will. I see wanted to do it again, but ultimately doesn't matter too much. Is this simply going to be deja vu from winner's bracket round oh, one? Oh, you see explosive. He says, yo, Fran, I got you on swords already. What you doing? This cannot be the same as the kills come through that street. That's four. Echo Fox looking to put the final nail in oh, the coffin. When it gets past the point, you Clara broke it. Clara kept it. That means Brady's out of position. He's going to get there. Echo, Echo Fox, Fox takes that. Second round in a row. We got a grand finals on our hands, folks. Oh. And folks, Optic Gaming is gonna force the game three on Reclaim. That was perfect Gears of War from Optic Gaming. Three rounds in a row, and talk about a way of sorry, but four rounds in a row, I should say. Attention is coming through. Will anyone be able to at least touch the hill? Vectal says, oh my absolutely God. not. Cat's coming through. Gonna have to drop shot as well to defend it. Can he touch it? gonna dive in, and he cannot. Optic Six. Gaming match. Mark. And they are just gonna let them have it. I mean, it, it's on. It's out of Kenny. It's all down to Kenny momentarily. East completely neutral. Meanwhile, Fred and fight. Kyle, they just need to touch the hill as quickly as possible. Oh, Kyle, Kyle turns around, shuts down Mental. Is it over? Did they get it? They get it. They, they get, get it. it. Get it. Oh. Uh, us going through this bracket and and pretty much beating everyone pretty dominantly, uh, it, I believe it does kind of prove that this is like the better team of the past iterations, uh, and that we did make the right choice. Um, obviously, we were getting a lot of hate for like the roster change just because you know we win that much and then we lose once and then everything kind of comes crashing down. But it, it's never really been about like whether or not the our past teammates have been have been good as players. Like, if you and your teammates aren't seeing, like, eye to eye on certain things, then, like, it just kind of throws off, like, the whole vibe and, like, the whole the whole flow of the team. And regardless if it's just two people on the team or, like, one person on the team that feels that way, it, it's going to throw off, like, everything. You know, if, if all five players aren't satisfied with where they're at or with how they're being treated on a specific team, then you just kind of have to do what you have to do. In regards to how people were treating us in social media and kind of labeling us the bad guys, uh, we didn't really, we weren't as vocal about it as, uh, as, the, as Kenny and Icy, the people who got dropped, just because like we kind of knew all along that, you know, we, we made this decision and we're going to prove to you guys that it was the right decision and that's exactly what we did. Uh, actions speak louder than words and that's kind of what we do over here.